Welcome to another edition of Fast Five. I'm Scott RB filling in for ODB. Jay is in New Orleans this week. I should just come up with the meanest insults possible ever and give them to you. Is that your job? You Excuse just me. said you hated the movie Grease. Because it's the terrible. Play Grease. It's the worst movie ever. Look, look at these people walking through the lobby. They're all mad at you. You know what? I, be mad at me. We'll be see, mad at we'll see if you're still around here next week or something. Are you kidding me? The hand job is not a dance. I don't even know how to do it. Question number one. What is the best month in sports? March. We're in it right now. You have college sports all heating up. College basketball is getting into conference tournaments, which I think actually might be better than the March Madness that you get in the tournament in terms of the best games and dramatic endings. That rolls right into your tournament. Baseball is getting started. You got softball going. The weather is perfect. For me, this is the best month. I go with October. You've got the World Series happening, baseball's biggest stage, basketball season begins, and you are in the meat and potatoes of football season. The in the college football games that mean so much in the grand scheme of things. So you win this conference game, you still have a shot to get to the playoff. The Saints are playing. Early October is beautiful. Late October, you're cooking gumbo. Are you kidding me? Yeah, gumbo weather is pretty good. It's really apples and oranges. Just get in college sports in March. No, just give me October. I can't believe you said you needed Greece on the record. It's an awful it's movie. Question number two. If the Cajun women's and men's basketball team want to cut down their nets in New Orleans and win the Sun Belt Conference Tournament, what's the biggest key? Inside, outside. Outside for the uh, men, you got to get good guard play. Hayward Register, Casey Shepard, they start hitting their threes. Long, Washington, these guys, they're going to do their job. Devontae Walker, for the women, it's not as much about the guard play as it is the inside game. They need to get good production in the paint. Inside for the women, outside for the men. For the men, they just have to hit shots. You know what you're going to get defensively. They're going to triple team Sean Long every single time because he's a monster. Hey, the register, Casey Shepard, have to knock those down. And then on the women's side, look for those seniors to lean the way. They're going to have a patch on their jerseys that say AB. This one's for Coach Broadhead's wife. Absolutely. But back to your point about the men, was your, was your analysis what they need to make basketball shots to win the game? Cool. Don't try to make me sound stupid. You know, I, it's like I, you, I, I know. Over you do a football. very good job of that yourself. Next question. Question number three. What's your assessment of the Cajun baseball team several weeks into the season? They're playing really good at home, they're undefeated, but you can't take Lafayette with you. They have won one of their games away from MLT Moore Field. That counts the games in Houston and their midweek games. And they have to fix this soon because their next three games in conference, their first conference series are on the road, and their next three midweek games are, you guessed it, on the road as well. Yeah, got to get, get going on the road. Pitching is going to keep them in every game. They, they, they've got great pitching. Five. You know, guys in a nine-man lineup with Clement Hurt that are playing D1 baseball for the first time this year, they're going to get settled in. This team is going to get better on the road. It's going to take a little time. Luckily, the pitching is going to keep them in every game. All right, next one. Question number four. Pelicans guard Eric Gordon is done for the season after undergoing surgery on his broken right ring finger. He will be a free agent after this season. How would you describe Gordon's tenure in New Orleans? Uh, fail. You know, there's no way they're bringing him back. I I'll give the kid credit for maturing the last couple of years. When he got there as a 22-year-old, he was the key piece of that Chris Paul trade to the Clippers. And he was the guy you wanted to keep around. And you made him the highest paid player on your team. His best season was last year, but it was with his three-point shooting. He never became the player that many projected him to be. And it was really because of injuries, whether it be knee surgeries, whether it be the broken ring finger. He just couldn't stay healthy, he couldn't stay on the court, he never was the player that lived up to that contract. I'll keep it short, sweet, and simple. A la D'Angelo Williams. Hoop emoji, surgical mask. He's been awful. He wasn't awful last year. Terrible. Terrible. Second, how? Second list three points? Oh, yeah. Like, totally worth it. Totally worth all that. It was worth it. Totally That's worth it. A failure. You're yeah. sitting here Man saying, saying, you're sitting here saying he smelled like poop his entire five years. Hoop emoji, surgical mask. So they can reach. Terrible movie. Who the movie said from that? You have a terrible soap. Double the movie. Question number five. If you were stuck in a zombie apocalypse, what athlete would you want to attempt survival with? See, I'm going to go Rob Gronkowski. Because, like, for the first day or two before the zombie stuff gets really, really intense, he would just be partying down. Like, finding every bottle of liquor. I clearly wouldn't try to keep pace. I think it'd just be funny to watch him for a while. And then whenever things got intense, just 
hand crunk a bat and watch him swing away. I, I think he'd be a good protector. You know, he's basically a 12 year old and a guy that's about 35. Yeah, we get along. So you want to be, you need a couple of 12 year olds in the zombie yeah. apocalypse, you're dead. We just like steal all the big wheels yeah. and ride big wheels on it. You're like somebody in a movie that's like, oh, the world's in it in a few days. I'm just going to party it up the whole time. That's essentially what you're doing. Yeah, you're like, like, I've got no desire stuff. to survive. Give me Brock Lesnar. Yeah. This guy, this guy is an avid hunter. He can kill things with his bare hands. Why don't you just get to be taken care of? Give me Brock Lesnar. This guy will destroy zombies. He's on my side. I will be his advocate. For Brock Lesnar. Either way, if either of them turned into zombies, me and you'd be done. Those guys are massive. So, Chris is awful. We'll see you next time on Fast Hot.